exciting. Uh, today is a milestone day. Yeah, we, we've talked about that a lot in this journey that we were going to get to celebrate milestones together uh, as a community, uh, as a region. And, and today is a huge piece of, of the puzzle for our football program. Uh, it's been the uh, multi-million dollar question of um, where are we going to play? Uh, we know we are going to play one game a year uh, at Sam Stadium in Brownsville, and we know that this beautiful stadium here is going to be our primary home uh, for our home games in the Upper Valley. So uh, we're blessed, we're grateful, and certainly very excited. Chase, uh, now that the stadium becomes uh, 100% uh, We just bought the stadium the other day, Ray. So we, we gotta we gotta have some time to uh, work through our plans. But yeah, that that's what we'll work on um, very quickly. You know, we we've got about uh, 14, 15 months uh, to be able to get as much done as we can before kickoff in uh, August uh, 30th of 2025. It's a beautiful stadium, right? And, and there's so many amenities and things that our fans are going to be able to appreciate and benefit from. Uh, but there's some things for, from a college football standpoint, uh, press box, locker room, uh, possibly looking at, you know, are there ways that we can expand seating? Uh, those are the conversations that we're going to really start having uh, and get more serious about here in the coming months. Chase, uh, there been any discussions in regards to uh, Yeah, the beautiful thing about this stadium is that it has a tremendous amount of capabilities, right? We, we want it to be able to serve as a, a Division I college football home, first and foremost. Uh, but the other piece of it that uh, you know, we probably didn't talk about enough today is what it's going to do for, for campus life. Uh, being able to work with our students and student advisory boards on bringing in concerts and different things uh, for our whole campus to enjoy outside of just the college football game day. Uh, so as we work through construction, as we look at some renovations, uh, I think it's going to open up even more opportunities for us uh, outside of just Division One college football Saturdays. So we introduced uh, uh, Travis Bush here. Uh, Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been a journey. It's hard to believe that was December of 22, and here we are sitting in, in early uh, first quarter of 2024. I think Coach would tell you that, that he and I both, I think at our core, believed that this is where we would end up and then this is where we would play. Uh, you know, we, we've had to have a, an enormous amount of conversations uh, with a lot of different stakeholders uh, to be able to get to this to get uh, to this moment. Uh, the path hadn't always been maybe straight. You know, there were times that uh, we, we thought we may have to look at, at other options or, or consider uh, other possibilities. But uh, through the leadership, I uh, give credit to the city of Edinburgh uh, for, for really having a passion uh, to, to see uh, the football program play here in their community, uh, the EDC, their city council, and then our administration at UTRGV just simply finding a way uh, to, to build that support internally, having the systems a blessing uh, from Austin to be able to do this. You know, the, the big thing is that we now have uh, the answer to, to that big question of, of where we're going to play. And so our staff now, uh, obviously, we've been working for the last year and a half, two years, uh, running parallel to all of these decisions and these milestones, getting prepared for these moments. Uh, but here in the coming months, we're actually going to be able to uh, articulate our plan. We're going to be able to talk about a seat selection process. We're going to be able to talk about ways people can be part of the game day experience. Uh, so excited to have that, but also know we have a tremendous amount of work in front of us. Uh, but we have the best staff in the country, and I'd put them up against anybody. Uh, they're already working hard right now to get a lot of those questions answered. And then as you see us go through the late spring, summer, and early fall, you're going to be able to see, okay, this is this is what season tickets are going to cost. This is how I'm going to have access to parking. This is what tailgating is going to look like. Uh, but I do want to say this. We want to make this extremely inclusive, and, and we want to make sure that whether it's season tickets or uh, I don't think we'll have walk-up tickets available. You know, I, I really think things are trending right now that we're going to have sellouts. Uh, but we're going to make sure that there is something for everybody and that there's an affordable option for those that want to be a part of the game day experience. Yeah, you bet. First of all, there's parts of the stadium that have not been like fully built. Are you, would you guys plan in the future to like update the seating capacity? Also, um, 
Yeah, as of today, it's, it's UTRGV Stadium, uh, right? So uh, naming rights and, and being able to sell sponsorships and, and do things around the stadium. That's the beauty of, of UTRGV owning the stadium is that we're able to really uh, elaborate on those and, and have more conversations with our community partners that want to support us. Uh, the question about expansion of seating, yeah, we will, uh, we will look at that space first and then we'll look at other ways uh, to, to look at expanding uh, seating. You know, we, we have 32,000 students and we have a lot of students that are going to be part of a college football game day. And so not just looking at how we expand seating in the stadium, but, but how can all the grounds, all the stadium grounds around this complex be part of that game day experience? We know the football game is important, uh, but, the, but the socializing and all the activity that happens around a college football game day, those are things we're also going to invest in and make sure that we have uh, right before we get to August 25th.